What is going on, guys? A lot of you guys probably saw some Caldera gameplay. I've been watching a ton, a ton. A lot of the guns are looking pretty good, but there's one gun in particular that I think for sure will be meta, and it's the PPSH. I saw a lot of big YouTubers actually gassing his gun and saying how dominant it is and how everyone was using it. This gun in Vanguard is honestly really good. It has a little bit of a kick, and that's probably the only downside of the gun. But overall, it's very, very strong. I've been using this gun in wagers, tournaments, everything, just having fun with it and dominating with it. Obviously, MP40s is really good right now, so I've been using MP40 a lot as well. But the PPSH, I think it's going to be meta. I think it's going to break next. And you guys got to check out this class I have that you can probably use in uh, Caldera as well. But yeah, let's get right into it. Enough talking. So PPSH, we got the recoil booster for the extra fire rate. A reason why you want the recoil booster, I'll tell you why soon. For the barrel, we're going to running the Zac 300 MMM. This is so good because it gives you everything you kind of want on the PBSH. More damage range, more velocity, extra recoil control, 30% to horizontal recoil. That's huge. We're going to be rocking a slate for the optic. Honestly, for you, it doesn't really matter. You can run the iron sight, you can run the slate, you can run whatever sight you want. I just like the slate. makes it easier for um, from like long range. Uh, but honestly, the sight, this is, this is kind of personal preference. For a stock, this is important. We're going to be running Empress Custom. Now, this stock is just so good not to run it. Plus three to recoil control, plus three to accuracy. The flint resistance is kind of nice. The recoil recovery is kind of nice. Um, you do get a hit onto sprint to fire speed, which kind of sucks, and a little bit to movement speed, but it's just so good. And like I said, the downside of the PPSH, the main downside is the fact that the recoil is kind of rough at times, especially when you're using the mag I'm using. So that's where we're going to be rocking. We're going to be running the SMOE pistol grip to add a little bit to sprint to fire speed. I know... You know, we you just don't want to have, as especially as an SMG, you don't want to sprint the fire speed to be too slow. So we're going to add this for a little boost to it. And it does take away a little bit to the recoil, but we have the Empress on. That's why we have that on. For the magazine, you're going to be running the damage round, the 35 round mag. Um, the last one, this gives you a huge boost of damage, makes it a three shot kill, close range to almost medium range. Um, very strong, very, very strong. Adds even more extra on top of the barrel, more damage range, more bullet velocity, all that good stuff. Now you do get a hit in recoil control and that's what i was telling you guys why you need you know extra recoil control for the ammo top we're going to be running lengthened just a no-brainer on smgs most of the time hollow point does come uh clutch sometimes but lengthened is just so freaking good for the rear grip we're going to be running stipple grip now you can kind of use whatever you want if you want a little bit more uh ads uh sprint to fire speed you can run this but just it's it's kind of not worth it you lose a little bit of recoil control and whatnot you can run just plus one of recoil um honestly i think the initial accuracy and uh, recoil was kind of tough on the pbsh so this is honestly really good you can see the pros to it over here so i'm rocking the stipple grip for the proficiency we got tight grip just good uh, again accuracy and recoil during sustained fire which is nice and then for the kit we're going to be running quick for just a little extra sprint to movement speed so this pbsh is very dominant up close to medium range obviously you can't map someone across the map that's a little bit harder to do but it is freaking amazing, and it will be called their meta. Now, let me show you guys some gameplay. All right, guys, we got some Bokagi PPSH action. You got to think we're going to dominate it. Oh, well, I just got to calm my, well, my pants down. But you got to think we're going to be dominating this game over here. All right. Oh, my God. This lined up for me. Three-piece. Kobe, four-piece. Oh, what? That guy ran away in time. Okay, so I guess people play very weird in 12v12. I don't play 12v12 enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I just shredded that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm working on my dogs. Swap this UAV. Oh, yeah. Did they just keep going in. Oh. 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 No. Oh, my jesus no oh oh my god i'm dead i got attack dogs no slide out slide out bait bait be a nuisance oh my maron maron i'm beaming you guys don't understand man you guys really don't understand i got oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah this gun is gonna be freaking crazy man the thing is too like you guys know caldera has like different Usually different, like, um, attachments slightly compared to, like, Warzone, just in general. I don't know, I caught Cardero, but you guys know what I'm saying. Oh, man. Oh! Oh! 
Oh my run. Oh, this guy's just sitting up there, dude. Are you kidding me? So it's going to be interesting to see. Honestly, it's going to be interesting to see, like, this guy actually trying to sneak around and have a, and have a V set up. Oh, good help. Like, but, it, like, there's going to be, I feel like PBSH, like, the classes you're going to make are going to be insane. And funny enough, like, even the PBSH in Warzone right now, like, the, the one they have, is honestly pretty good. It's, like, A tier. You know, there's S tier. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm talking. Oh, he got me. Honestly, guys, I have an honest question. I know a lot of you guys have watched probably some Caldera gameplay as well. What do you what else do you think will be uh meta? I've seen a combat shock and uh is it looks insane as well. But I, I just want your honest opinion. Like, what do you guys think will be uh meta? You can leave it down in the comments below whenever you have time. It could be after the video. I'm just curious. I think the combat shotgun's low-key about to be nasty, man. It's about to be MOG 2.0. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm not the biggest fan of shotguns, so I'm terrified that it will be. <laughs> I'm terrified, because then we're going to have to run around with shotguns again. You didn't expect that, did you, punk? You didn't expect that, did you, punk? I'm dancing on him. I love saying that. That's one of my favorite phrases to say. Dancing on him. Dancing on him. Dancing on him. No, I have no more ammo. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I was dancing on him. Man, I bet everyone's going to be grinding Caldera, bro. The new Warzone map does look insane from the gameplay I've watched. I'm sure some of you guys watched it too or something. You guys probably watched at least a sneak peek or a clip of something. It looks good, man. It looks like Blackout as well. It looks like it makes a Blackout in Warzone. And uh, I'm beyond excited, man, to get really grinding into that game. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. I got him, too, with the fire. I'm going to be playing so much. Double kill with a gamma bomb. We love that. I'm going to be playing so much. It's going to be a little unhealthy. But, hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm going to be literally live all day, streaming, streaming all day, every day, 10 to 12 hours every day, grinding, trying to be the best player I am and I can be. Finding new metas, using fun guns, new guns. If you don't know, I do stream at twitch.tv slash apathy. So you guys can come in, tune in, vibe with me, have some fun. I can show you guys a little of my skill, my technique. Give you guys some tips, some pointers. Oh my god, I'm missing, but I was beaming. Oh my god, dude. The fact that I can kill someone, honestly, that's kind of impressive with the PBSH. PBSH has a bad, a bad, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A bad reputation for having one of the shittiest recoils. The fact that I can beam like that, that's nice. Aha! Dude, no! You get your way as a here, boy. You come here, boy. I'm coming. I'm coming for y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm feasting now. I'm feasting now. Hold that for me. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Attack dogs. Yeah, you guys thought you had me. You guys thought you had me. Oh, come on. Did he actually pre end that? What if I would have came out the other way? Come on, I got to get the 100 bomb. I got to get the 100 bomb. Oh, I gotta get the hundred bomb! Oh my god, I just got three there. What the? No, ninety-seven. We're gonna win. Ah, oh, come on, that's a hundred bomb. That's a hundred bomb. Come on, we take that. That's a hundred bomb. That's a hundred bomb. Make sure to drop that like, man. Come on, PBSH is incredible. Honestly, man, you guys gotta try this class out. Make sure to like the video. It helps me a lot. Comment down below, like I said. What other guns do you think will be meta in Caldera? And as always, this has been your boy Apathy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Apathy, aka Donkathy, aka Twitch.tv slash Apathy, out.